section upper bound and lower bound. So this question itself is a little bit tricky. Okay, you need to read the question very carefully and identify what's the relationship between the variables. So I've actually listed down a couple of keywords where it actually refer to upper bound or lower bound, but they didn't mention it specifically. So you're required to remember all these uh, keywords up. Then when it comes to the exam, you should be able to identify it with no issue. Okay, so for the first question that we have here, the perimeter of a square is 60 cm and is rounded to the nearest 5 cm. Find the upper and lower bound of this area. So things to take note is to find the rounding value first. Okay, by taking the nearest 5 cm divided by 2, you should get 2.5 cm. So for you to calculate the upper bound, all sides of the square you are actually required to plus 2.5. Okay, so one of the side of it will now be 17.5 cm. So for you to calculate the area, simply take 17.5 multiplied by 17.5. Okay. And for you to find the lower bound of the square, simply take 15 cm minus 2.5, you will get 12.5. And for you to calculate the area, take 12.5 multiplied by 12.5. For next question, a rectangle has a side of 5 cm and 8 cm. The side of a rectangle is rounded to the nearest millimeters. So things to take note, 1 cm is 10 millimeters and 1 millimeters will actually be 0 0.1 cm. So for you to find the rounding value, simply take 0 0.1 divided by 2, you should get 0 0.05 cm. So for you to find the upper bound of this rectangle, okay, you should take 5 plus 0 0.05 and take the 8 plus 0 0.05. So I multiply each of the value by 2 because on the rectangle, each have two sides. So my final answer will actually be 26.2, whereby for us to calculate the lower bound, okay, simply takes 5 minus 0 0.05, multiply, multiply it by 2, and take 8 minus 0 0.05 and multiply it by 2 as well. Then you will get the final results as 25.8. Question 3 is actually the hardest type of this particular topic okay, where it involves two variables. So by looking at the question, you should know that there is a big piece of cloth and each of it, we need to cut into pieces to make it into dresses. So the relationship between these two variables, okay, by looking at it, okay, we have 50 meters divided by 10 meters then we will know that we can actually make five dresses. Okay, so this is the first thing. So looking at the next part, okay, both will have their own rounding values. So the first one is converted to the nearest 1200 cm and for the dress, it's nearest two meters. Okay, so let's say we run the calculation Okay, we converted the 1200 cm into meters and the rounding value of it will actually be 6 meters and for the dress rounding value it is 1 meters. So for us to find the upper bound, first I took the 50 plus 6 divided by 10 minus 1. The denominator need to be smaller where the numerator need to be larger so that you can calculate the highest possible value okay and for us to identify the lower bound we took 50 minus 6 okay and the denominator need to be bigger so i took 10 plus 1 so it will be four dresses okay so the upper bound or the maximum dresses you can make with the cloth is 6 and the least she can make with it is 4 after you digest this all three question, kindly look back to the first slide 
okay and memorize the keyword okay so as usual please remember to identify the relationship between the variables then only run the calculation